GM is investing billions in a new battery cell plant here in mid-Michigan. It's our top story at noon. Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching today. I'm Kiera Lake. It's part of the largest investment in the company's history. GM is investing nearly $7 billion in the battery plant, as well as converting a plant in Orion Township to make electric pickup trucks. Capital correspondent Tim Skubik has been following the announcement, and he joins us now live. Tim, what does this announcement mean for this area? <laughs> well, as one former governor used to put it, jobs, jobs, jobs. That's what this whole announcement is all about. But let's put today's announcement, a historic announcement, in perspective. Let me take you back to September 27th. On the Capitol lawn, Governor Gretchen Whitmer was notified that Ford was building electric car battery plants, not in Michigan, but a little place down south called Kentucky and Tennessee. Republicans in the legislature were upset. She was upset. Michigan was not in the running. Well, all those frowns on September 27th had been miraculously turned into huge smiles as everybody gathered in the Boji building in the conference room there for the announcement from General Motors that it was going to spend $4 billion in Lake Orion Township to create 2,300 jobs and the capital city, now they're getting some jobs too, according to the head of General Motors. Let's listen in. The new plant here will create more than 1,700 new Ultium jobs when it is fully operational by late 2024. We're also investing more than $510 million in our two Lansing area plants, Lansing Grand River Assembly and Lansing Delta Township Assembly, to upgrade their production capabilities for near-term products. Now, obviously, this investment from General Motors will have a spin-off effect on the regional economy here as other jobs will be spinning off of these plants that are going into effect. It's a major announcement, and as the governor pointed out in her comments to the audience, this was all about bipartisanship. Uh, they set aside their political differences, the R's and the D's, and they sat down in the room and said, look it, we lost those jobs to the South. Let's not let that happen again. And they brought General Motors into the fold with an incentive package that will give GM some money back from state taxpayers but everybody in the room this morning was saying this is an investment we had to make we did make it and now we're going to reap the benefits more jobs for this area it's a good news story to be uh, to be certain